very good evening to you. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to Sports Tonight. This is the Wednesday night edition of the show. It's a very beautiful midweek, and we are here to do what we love to do, which is to spend time with you to um, review some of the major events that have happened today, uh, and of course also look into the future uh, to talk about some of the events that we're hoping to see uh, before the end of the week. It's uh, Sports Tonight. My name is Tony Bitoye, and uh, tonight, uh, let me just give you an idea of what we'll be doing uh, on the program today. Yesterday, we um, took a look at um, like a review of uh, the just concluded Olympic Games, and we focused on Team Nigeria. Today, we will um, review the games, but today we will be focusing more on, the, yes, a little bit of Team Nigeria, but on some other um, countries, how they received uh, their contingent to the Olympic Games. Maybe we can pick a few lessons. Uh, from that as we, I mean, try to look to the future, uh, look to 2020. We can pick, a, so pick some lessons from the way other countries have received those athletes that went to the Olympic Games and competed for them, uh, and the way Nigeria um, has um, also done that. Uh, we will also, of course, on the program, spend time to take a look at football, and tonight we'll focus on uh, um, eight great teams, under 17, under 20, uh, the 123 have been disbanded. They don't have any other assignment until about two, three years from now. So we will talk about the eight great teams and the, the stories coming out um, of uh, the Glass House that the Nigerian Football Federation are keeping those coaches. I'm talking about the, I'm talking about Coach Manu Gaba uh, and Undo Kagwade from the 17, Emmanuel Lamonike from the 20. Um, those coaches are not going anywhere. They are going to be. Um, told by the NFF to keep working in spite of the fact that their teams have failed to qualify uh, for their different competitions. We will also be talking about the CAF Champions League. We're now down to the final four. Um, of course, you know the story already. Inba crashed out. They won their game yesterday, but they are out. So we'll talk about the teams, the last four teams, and what the, what the semi-final pairings uh, will be looking like. Uh, we will also talk about that on the program tonight. We will also be taking a little bit of athletics. Uh, the Olympics are gone. Athletes are already competing uh, in the Diamond League. All right? Uh, forgetting about what happened at the Olympics, they're looking forward. We will also, of course, be spending time tonight to read your comments. You are very key to what I'll be doing on Sports Tonight this uh, midweek. So let me start off the show by telling you how you can be part of the, of the program by means of feedback. We want you to talk to us, uh, interact with us, share your thoughts with us. Um, and give us your own ideas, because we know that um, we don't have the monopoly of, of knowledge on this side. Um, the winning idea, the life-changing idea that could turn things around for Nigeria could be in you, all right? So get ready to talk to us um, tonight. Take advantage of our platforms for feedback, uh, showing on your screen, channels, iPhone sports, and those handles on Twitter are channels underscore sports, at 20 underscore between, which is my personal undo will all be available for you um, as platforms to interact with us and give us your thoughts, your opinion uh, to the issues as we talk about them on the program tonight. You can also, let's tell you, that you can watch us anywhere across the globe on our website, www.channelstv.com, as well as on youtube.com slash channels web. All right? If you click on that link on your screen, m.channelstv.com, you could watch us on your iPad, your iPhone, your BlackBerry. It takes you straight to your home for the news. And um, it can be better than that if you download the channels app for Android, iOS, Windows from their respective stores. It's the perfect place for you to be. Channels at your fingertips, 247. And as you do all of it, please don't forget what we always say in case you are watching uh, for the first time. Tell us where your tweets, your posts, your comments are coming from uh, because we would like to appreciate you a lot more uh, for all of that on the program tonight. So let me just quickly introduce to you uh, my partners on the program this uh, midweek. Yemi Adebayo um, is um, one of them. Yemi, good to have you on, on Sports tonight. Thank you very much. Mm. And of course, uh, the news editor of um, one of Nigeria's best, best selling sports daily, Sporting Life, Oye um, is also with us um, as well on uh, sports tonight. Guys, let me welcome you um, to, to sports tonight. I think it's not out of place for us to look at how countries are receiving their athletes. Uh, we could pick a few lessons from it. 
um, looking into 2020, not just 2020, before 2020, we're going to be having some international competitions, the Commonwealth Games in two years, um, the All Africa Games, a lot of competition. We can pick a few lessons from how countries are receiving their athletes, how they're treating them yeah. uh, as um, assets rather than liabilities. Issues like this will always um, divide opinion. Some people will say if, if you put, it, put up a grand reception for a team that just won bronze, you might be celebrating mediocrity. Mm. And some countries that won just one medal are so, celebrating. Are celebrating. So it, it divides opinion. Um, the, the disappointment is in the air, but that doesn't mean most of those athletes punched above their weights. And that is what we should celebrate. Uh, I was listening to you yesterday talking about Ese Brume. That it's worth celebrating. It doesn't matter that she didn't Finishing get a fit. That she was able to. First Olympics. You know, in our first Olympics. Yeah. It, 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 Although the con also, uh, some people will tell you that there are some people who are coming to the Olympic Games for the first time. And also won. And they won gold. So, so it, it goes, it goes it, both it, it ways. It divides opinion. Mm. So uh, for me, I, I think uh, we should have used this opportunity to prepare for the next Olympics and tell these guys, we failed you. You tried your best, but we have failed you. And then okay. receive them well. Receive them well and, and promise them that next one will be better than this because we're going to give you everything you need. These guys went to the Olympics with an excuse in the bag. They didn't prepare well. Mm. No federation. Mm. I mean, maybe but, a few, but... Mm. Uh, in the fact that some of these athletes are um, international athletes uh, and are not... I mean, from the Olympic Games, uh, as we were losing out of your events... Straight back to their bases. We were going back to their different destinations and so it was difficult... Uh, for Team Nigeria to put everybody together. Is that a good enough reason? Uh, but for those who were coming home, we can take, I mean, some cue from table tennis. They had a good reception uh, for their team, the Table Tennis Federation. Um, the football had an above average uh, reception. Slightly above average. Yeah, for their team. But then most of the other guys had gone to their different places right from the Olympic Games. So it's always difficult, particularly when we were waiting until the final day and there was no medal for everybody to be despondent and just go back quietly to their different places. It's not difficult for the, the team to be received if um, there were plans in the first place to host them. Um, as far as I'm concerned, there were, there were no plans to host the team. Mm. Even the team that won bronze? The team that won bronze. The dream know. team? Yeah. No yeah. plan for reception. They there are no dismissed. plans. To, they, they have not yeah. been communicated. Yeah, but no, most of those boys have gone no back. No official have plans. You see, the, the, no, the, the oh, I'm not playing the devil's advocate. Mm -hmm. The football team, most of those guys are professional footballers. The season is on already. It doesn't matter. So they don't have the time. It doesn't matter. They played on Saturday. If the, the Olympics ended on Sunday, if there were plans, they would have committed to the team and they would tell their clubs 24 hours. This, these players have been there for over two weeks. So just a few days yeah. of answering national call will not, um, you know, cause you any problem. Their chances. You know, there, there were no plans. You know, the, 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 the talk about um, mediocrity shouldn't even come into the picture because these athletes gave their all yeah. in spite of um, and you know, the best lack of we have. Uh, yeah, the, the, the lack of preparations. And um, the, the countries that uh, have given their athletes a grand reception, not all, all the athletes won medals. Yeah. Not all the athletes won medals. So the issue of whether they won medal or not is not, is not for me, it's not important. We must begin to treat our uh, athletes, you know, show them appreciation. It's not money all the time. I look at, we, we, I, I was watching how South Africa received the athletes yesterday. School children became well organized, you know, in one group. Other groups, we are at, uh, you know, they created a space at the Oliver Tambo International Airport mm. to receive athletes. You know, how else do you show your your athletes that um, they are important to you? It's not all about money. It's not all about uh, you know welfare. But your countrymen and women, we are there to receive them Showing at the airport. That you are valued. Yes, yeah. at the yeah. airport. Okay, guys, let, let's bring you into all of this because um, this is setting the tone uh, for some of the things we'll be talking about on the program tonight, and we want you to respond to us. Um, using our platforms uh, uh, for feedback, uh, Facebook and Twitter, what would you say about the issues that we've identified already? Um, organizing the Team Nigeria together, um, we may not have won a lot of medals, we may have won just one, but then there are some pockets of individuals that should have made the federal government organize a befitting reception. Some of them punched above their weight, some of them set African records, some of them broke their personal best over and over at the games, which would have been a very good opportunity for the government to say, look, guys, yes, we didn't meet 
um, you didn't win medals, you didn't finish on the podium, but individually we are celebrating you. Talk to us about it. Let us know what you feel um, about all of these issues, and we will um, like you to make it a very robust uh, uh, discussion tonight. So please talk to us about all of those, and we will like to read out your comments um, as we go along um, on uh, sports tonight. All right, um, guys. Um, before we um, come to the real issues of uh, uh, reception and all of that, before we continue that discussion, Banjo Ladapo um, was, it, was one time the Secretary General of the Nigeria Olympic uh, Committee. Um, and he's been speaking. He's been speaking about how Nigeria can turn this failure into defeat. Uh, essentially, he's been talking about planning um, for the future, planning for 2020. He has a very interesting idea of how we can begin to prepare now and uh, compete better in 2020. Let's sit back, listen to Banjil Adapo. We'll be back with more for you on Sports Tonight. Join us again. People did not criticize this preparation because we have it in history that most of the games, or multi-sports games, that we least prepared for are the ones that we do well. But this time, we are caught up with it. You don't wake up into excellence. You work hard for excellence. This is not the time to blame anybody. This is the time for us to go back into our rooms and not say to ourselves, what can we do to better our lot in the 2020 Olympics? 2020 is right in the corner. Government must come up with a scheme where every year a budget is given to Olympic preparation so that the sports will start moving on. Companies must also look at sports that they want to support. Yeah, um, that's Banjir Arakbo, one time Secretary General of the Nigeria Olympic Committee and is also uh, an international member of uh, the Table Tennis Federation, International Table Tennis Federation, very high ranking official uh, in Africa yeah, when, it comes to table, table. when it comes to table tennis. Yeah. All right? And he's identified those things. He's, he's talked about them uh, very well. Every year in the budget, government can say, look, this year, this is going for Olympic preparation. Not wait until the fourth year and then bring a long sum together. You can break it down into four, and every year some funds are available for preparations to be going on uh, towards the Olympic Games. And of course, he also identified that there is no way we can talk about preparation for Olympic Games without involving the private sector. There's, there's no, no way. way. There's no way. If, if government does a spot, private sector will always uh, come in. See how Puma glamorized the, the Jamaican athletics team. Most of us were envious of how, I mean, you saw them go in, come out, their kids and everything. Just The kids got there on time. It, it, was, the it was glamorous. Was spot on. But you see, before that happened, the guys on ground in Jamaica did their work. Even looking at the Jamaican trials alone, it was, it, it, was, it was huge. It was big. So I think government should not be afraid of thinking that we have so many other problems. Uh, you know, if you do your part, you will receive help. Mm -hmm. And all of these things will bring glory um, to, to Nigeria. And if, if we can allocate money and, and, and put it there and not wait. The, the issue there is make people accountable. Mm. You know, when we allocate money, it's not for the officials. The key actors are the athletes. It's not for the officials. Mm. Some of these athletes, only were still at the games, we're still talking about not getting their refunds six, seven days after they had arrived at the Olympic Games. So we, we really messed up um, this issue of uh, the ticket reforms and preparation for the Olympic Games. But I'm, I'm going to ask you to hold your thoughts because my producer says we need to go on a quick break. Uh, when we return from the break, we will continue where we're letting off now, uh, Team Nigeria, and then looking forward to 2020. Join us again. <laughs> 